Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Fresh coming to you guys with yet again another piece of fresh gaming content and today what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to play with your Xbox One or Xbox friends at all on your PC so you can play PC to console anything like that. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right in the video you guys. So like I said, today is a pretty cool video. Today I'm showing you guys exactly how I've been playing with my friends on the Xbox One. We've been playing different games, whether it be Fortnite, Minecraft, Destiny 2. We've been playing a lot of cool games. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I figured this out. Um, just thought it would be cool to share this with you guys on how to play with Xbox One players on the PC. So before we get into this, just go ahead and if you guys are new, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. It helps promote the video as well as it helps promote the channel, and I'd very much appreciate oh, it. Like I great. did say, um, we're gonna go ahead and the very first thing is I have this open right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to pull this up right here. You can see my OBS in the bottom. Just something really quick that I did forget to add in the video is that you can actually join parties and use every single functioning thing that you can use on the Xbox on the PC. So I just wanted to add that because I forgot to add that during the video. But yeah, you guys. I do have this pinned to my taskbar simply because I'm going to be using this a lot more. I'm going to be making a lot more streams and stuff for you guys using this. But it's going to be called the Xbox One Console Companion, which comes with your Windows 10 installation. So it's going to look like this over in your sidebar. If you go down here and you search just Xbox, and it'll come up with the Xbox Console Companion. Now what it's going to do is it's going to prompt you to log into your Microsoft account or if you are already logged in and you already use a little bit what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and come in here and basically it's going to have your entire Xbox setup. It's going to have all this stuff. This is my this is my very first gaming account. This is my very first account that I ever played any sort of video game. This is back when I used to play Black Ops 2. So this is my very first Xbox Microsoft account right here. But I have a couple of friends that are over here playing the realm, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. I'm probably going to live stream for you guys. But in order to play games with your friends, what you guys are going to want to do is, as you can see, like I said, I've been playing a couple different games with my friends. Minecraft, Fortnite, Destiny 2, all the games I play. What you're going to need to do is download a counterpart versus of these. So if we go to the Microsoft Store and you have the Game Pass, you can install every single game from your Game Pass that you've already bought onto your PC and you can in turn play with the Xbox One players from your PC. And basically the Xbox One and plus anything after that is going to basically be a computer, but they're going to be selling it as a console with limited features. So just Minecraft in general, I have the Minecraft Java Edition, which is on here. This is the Minecraft Launcher, and this is going to launch a Java Edition, and then you have the Minecraft Windows 10. So with the Game Pass, Minecraft Windows 10 comes with the Game Pass, what it's going to do is it's going to prompt you and it's going to show you this. So when you have the Game Pass, it's going to show you all of these games and these come naturally with your Xbox One. You're going to see every single one of these with your Xbox One. When you log into your PC and you go to the store, it's going to show you all of this different stuff. You can play with, you can go ahead and play these games on your PC as well. So anything that you have bought on the Xbox One Game Pass is going to be compatible with PC and it's literally just going to give you a different download file because it's going to be running two different installations or two different execution files. So simplistically, let's say I want to play Minecraft, we all we have to do is we have to go in here and just go ahead and press Minecraft and this is going to load the Windows 10 variation of Minecraft and you can see that I have, if I go to Windows G, what it's going to do is it's going to pull up all, all my different games that I have it's going to have my different players. These are my friends from Xbox. If we go into play, what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to go see our friends that we have added on here, the different servers and stuff like that. And obviously I have a realm going. So this would in turn allow you to go ahead and play with your friends as well. So all my friends and then actually not playing on uh, PC, they're playing on the Xbox. So these are all my Xbox One friends. You can see that this is the dumbed down. This is just the regular. So Minecraft generally is not a cross-platform game as well as if we were to go over to the game of Destiny. And literally if we were to just click on the game of Destiny and just go ahead and double click it. We have one friend playing it that is going to be on Xbox. And then just go ahead and click this right here. And then boom, quickly adjust your audio. It's going to load up your Destiny. And I do have, as you guys can see, we have loaded up in the game of Destiny 2, which is my favorite game as of right now, besides D1. But D1 isn't really popping like that. And you guys can see fully functioning PC variation of Destiny 2 
but I bought the game on Xbox One with my Microsoft account. As well as the game is free now, which isn't really relevant, but back in the day, it did cost a little bit of money. Well, as I have had this game since the beta, I don't know when it became free. All I remember is actually paying for the game and then never playing the game again after the first week after release. So I've actually not been very active on the gaming aspect, like literal gameplay on my channel. So if you guys do want to see more gameplay, just go ahead and tell me and I can make more gameplay for you guys. Generally, I've been making a lot of how-tos. How-tos you guys seem to like a lot. So those do really well on the channel and I do appreciate you guys supporting all my how-to videos and like kind of animations and stuff like that. If you guys do want to see more gaming content in general, because other than that, I don't really play these games very often. I kind of just let them be and then if i play it i play it with friends or something like that these are kind of just my laid back chill kind of games so if you guys do want to see more gaming content in general or video games gameplay streams minecraft destiny the new valorant game if you guys want to see anything just in general post it on the channel be sure to comment that below so i can make that for you and i do appreciate all of you who watched at the very end of this video this isn't like an amazing breakthrough video but i did think this was really cool and i wanted to help my guys out they wanted to play pc games with their console players obviously there are a lot of games coming out that happen to be cross-platform but for every single game in the microsoft store to be cross-platform with pc and console is kind of a big thing so i wanted to share this with you guys but i do hope this video was helpful to you guys if this was helpful to you guys please be sure to comment below so i can help you guys out if you do have any questions other than that it's been fresh hope you guys did enjoy this video and i'll see you guys in the very next video